Amateur Logic Shorts. Here's an Amateur Logic TV short on getting the most from your internet using wired and wireless standards. Are you increasing your internet speeds or have existing network equipment in your house? Here's some tips here. You want to make sure that your local area network or your LAN is up to that task. Go gigabit LAN uh, and make sure your wireless local area network or WLAN is also up to that task. There's some new standards, 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6 out there that can help you out. Whether you're using wired or a wireless LAN, make sure that your speeds in your networking and devices is higher than your internet speeds. No use getting that uh, higher internet connection if the connection downstream is only capable of, let's say, 100 megabits. Uh, if it's over 100, then you're going to want something higher than that uh, downstream or um, on your other devices that connect you up to your internet connection. So first we'll start with the wired interface. There's a standard, the IEEE 802.3 AB gigabit LAN standard is, uh, you know, we, we say go, go gigabit, right? And if you have that internet connection of 200 to 1000 megabits or gigabit internet bandwidth speeds, you need to make sure that your internal LAN switch ports can support that full bandwidth. And switches these days are pretty cheap, ranging from 20 to $30 even, uh, depending on how many ports you need and where, how you distribute your network throughout your uh, house or, or shack or place. So uh, those switches are pretty cheap these days and it's time to upgrade away from 100, especially if you have an uh, internet connection higher than that uh, 100 megabit standard that used to be. So make sure your wired connections can support it. Uh, if you only have a one device for your internet connection or a combo device, the router, firewall, and switch all in one type device, which many do, uh, make sure that internet port and as well as the all, all of the other ports are also gigabit or thousand megs in speed because uh, that will make sure you're able to achieve your internet's bandwidth to each device. And of course, don't forget about your local endpoint devices or the actual devices that are hooking up to your network, LAN or WLAN. Not all of those devices might require gigabit speeds. However, being able to participate in that gigabit will definitely increase the efficiency of all of those devices basically vying for that uh, bandwidth. So if the device itself on the endpoints are capable of gigabit, then you're going to do better in general. Next, we'll move on to the wireless side or 802.11ax standard from IEEE. And there's a lot of terminologies here that uh, tend to remind us of things we might have learned on our uh, license exam from the uh, FCC question pools like OFDMA uh, uh, well, or OFDM. You know, there's a lot of similar terms here. Uh, this is the nerd view of this. For instance, OFDMA is going to have allow multiple people the ability to use the frequency spectrum more efficiently, as long as well as the uh, multi-user, multi-input, and multi-output or MU MIMO uh, technologies that's built into this new standard. Things like trigger-based random access, the spatial frequency reuse, uh, network allocation vectors fragmentation, dynamic fragmentation, guard interval, symbol duration. They're all things that will uh, help to keep the interference from neighboring networks down as well as use the bandwidth that's available or scale the bandwidth that's available depending on your device's location, uh, signals, uh, taking advantage of multipathing, uh, all kind of things we've learned about in ham radio but uh, they're really on the cutting edge of digital use, especially with multiple devices. Uh, the whole point of this new standard, more efficient use of the spectrum that we have, as well as moving on to another uh, band, which you'll see in a bit. Well, here's a slide that presents some terminologies that are probably also familiar to a lot of hams. And we might, you might not understand that it's actually using the same tech and modulation methods that we use just at a much higher scale and a broader bandwidth. For instance, the modulation type or MCS index that determines what your speed is gonna be 
for this new wireless standard. Depends on, of course, things like uh, distance, the channel width, the quality of the signal going into your Wi-Fi access point. And you can see here the modulation types, VPSK, QPSK. Um, we, we're familiar with a lot of these modulation types. And depending on that index or how you're hitting your uh, WAP for the wireless side, depends on the speed you get. And you can see here in ideal perfect conditions using the higher channel widths as well as the uh, rates and the connections, the streams, you can achieve almost a gig uh, networking over the wireless now. So uh, just make sure your wireless and your wired is capable of utilizing your internet's bandwidth. One of the newest Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E is actually using or utilizing new bands, the 6 gigahertz band. Traditionally, we've heard 2.4 gig and then 5 gig with our older Wi-Fi standards and dual band routers, now it's six gig. So they're starting to expand into the bands, having a lot more device densities and networks around your neighbors or neighboring businesses, you have it. So they're really trying to address those issues that are out there causing interferences and just to really use the spectrum better for all the devices that are popping up. And as always, there's much more information out there. Um, there's some good videos from the Wi-Fi Alliance explaining the benefits of Wi-Fi 6 as it's branded by them. And of course, Wikipedia has the links and the references to the 802.11ax wireless standards or WLAN standards, as well as the IEEE 802, the whole family of 802 standards. Uh, including wired standards um, and that MCS index as well has an entire page dedicated on the rates of uh, the modulation code scheme as they call it uh, depend you know how do you how you're uh, going to get that speed so lots of information out there uh, seven three and hope you are able to upgrade your internet speed and make sure your devices down and upstream from it can support it